This is my team, my dysfunctional team. It may look pretty normal on the surface, but underneath, there are five things going on that need serious attention. Let's take a look. She can't ask for help. He doesn't want to risk starting an argument. He's only pretending that he's on board. That's me. I don't think it's my job to make sure he does his job. And he only cares about his own goals. So that's my team. Maybe your team has its own challenges. In his New York Times best-selling book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, Patrick Lincioni identifies five core dysfunctions that most teams face. The first dysfunction is an absence of trust among team members. This stems from their unwillingness to be vulnerable within the group. Vulnerability is about being able to say and genuinely mean things like, I screwed up, I need help, and I'm sorry. Team members who are not genuinely open with one another about their mistakes and weaknesses make it impossible to build a foundation for trust. This failure to build trust is damaging because it sets the tone for the second dysfunction, fear of conflict. Teams that lack trust are incapable of engaging in unfiltered and passionate debate of ideas. Instead, they resort to veiled discussions and guarded comments. A lack of healthy conflict ensures the third dysfunction, lack of commitment. Without airing their opinions in passionate and open debate, team members rarely, if ever, buy in and commit to decisions, though they may feign agreement during meetings. Teams that fail to get this commitment develop the fourth dysfunction, avoidance of accountability. Without committing to a clear plan of action, even the most focused and driven people often hesitate to call their peers on actions and behaviors that seem counterproductive to the good of the team. And this leads to the fifth dysfunction, inattention to results. Inattention to results occurs when team members put their individual needs, such as ego, career development, or recognition, above the collective goals of the team. Another way to understand this model is to take the opposite approach, a positive one, and imagine how members of truly cohesive teams behave. First, they trust each other. They engage in productive conflict around ideas. They commit to decisions and plans of action. They hold one another accountable for delivering against those plans. And they focus on the achievement of collective results. And that's it. These are the five behaviors of a cohesive team. Each one is a deliberate choice made by the team. They do require discipline and persistence, but the payoff can be big. And there's a nice bonus. Not only will the group be stronger and more productive, but high-functioning teams are a lot more fun to work on.